Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. It is a Lolita vlog with me trying a bunch of new foods and checking out a lot of new places that have opened up here in Calgary. Once again, I've split this video up into three different days, so I hope you guys will enjoy. The first coordinate I'm gonna showcase is a quick brunch coordinate. Since I was heading off to a cafe, I wanted to wear Neon Star Diner, so I paired this with a Katsu OP from Melody Basket that I finally found. I feel like I always coordinate Neon Star Diner with the matching blouse, but pairing it with a different darker cut sew this time really changed out the feel and makes me a little excited to wear Neon Star Diner a little bit more differently every time around. So the cafe that I had a reservation at was called Primary Colors Cafe. It is a new concept cafe from Monogram Coffee and features a lot of interesting foods. Since I went for the breakfast brunch menu, there isn't that much available in terms of heavy foods, but it was a really good selection. They offer Monogram Coffee, which is a little bit acidic in my perspective, but it's actually pretty good coffee. For the dishes, I picked up the gingered beets. It was really, really good. The textures was very nice and that ginger sauce was lovely. And for the main, since I don't eat a lot of breakfast, is the whipped peas on toast. Pretty good, very nice texture wise and that sourdough bread was pretty nice. I know I'm gonna definitely be back in the future for dinner because everything looks so good. Primary Colors Cafe is located in the Britannica neighborhood and this little neighborhood has, has a lot of local businesses so I decided to check out the bookstore. There's also other cute little places that you can check out here as well and it's really cute. The Owl's Nest bookstore had little owls throughout the store and it was really fun to see all the little owls that were there. A visit to the Britannica neighborhood isn't complete without checking out Village Ice Cream. They are one of the best ice cream places here in Calgary and I got to enjoy a lemon poppy seed loaf ice cream. So good, highly recommend checking this place out. For day two, I am going to go check out some donuts, hence the donut coordinate. I paired Melty Cream Donut with Accents of Brown, and this is a basic simple coordinate. I completely forgot how short Melty Cream Donut is, so don't mind the amount of thighs that you see in this coordinate. So the donut shop that I went to is called Greedy Donut. They are a new addition to the Calgary scene. They only make a thousand donuts at 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. and they sell out within the first hour. So definitely go early and line up in order to get these donuts. They are made fresh and they are so, so good. I picked up the sweet corn donut because I thought it was a really interesting flavor that you really don't see in donut shops here. It's very Korean inspired in terms of the menu and flavoring. And I gotta say this donut was hands down the best donut I've ever had. The texture was so good. I really recommend checking out this place if you're ever in town. Just know that they do sell out quite quickly and that you have to line up to get to these donuts. So after this sweet treat, I decided to check out a aesthetic cafe that has been making the rounds on my Instagram reels. And this place is called Daydream Coffee. And just look at the decor. Oh my gosh. 
everything is so cute and not gonna lie this place made me wish that i opened up my own little cafe shop to showcase and display all my cute kawaii things you know all the little details were super adorable and they had a really nice extensive menu with really interesting flavors that you'd find in asia things like osmanthus and hawthorne so in addition to the cute cafe there is really cute packaging for the drinks it's really interactive and fun however this place is meant for more of a takeout instead of a dine-in so that's something to note After all those sweets, it is now time for lunch and I decided to head off to my favorite lunch spot which is a Tokyo street market. They offer really good Japanese food that is quite authentic. For today, I decided to eat the Mazemen Chashu Ramen. Mazemen Ramen is soupless ramen and it is full of flavor. Also in that neighborhood is Tigerstead and Friends or Strawberry Boots. This is a Japanese lifestyle and stationery shop. They also have a vintage clothing store at the basement of this place as well. They have a really good selection of Japanese products as well as art items and pieces from local and Canadian artists. It's a really fun shop to peruse and browse, especially if you are looking for a unique gift. All right, and then for the last coordinate, it is for a casual day out. I realized I haven't been to an art gallery here in Calgary yet. So I went to the art gallery in this super cute casual coordinate because I knew I'd be heading out downtown. And downtown Calgary has a lot of people who may or may not approach you. Once again, sporting the Melody Basket OP, this time by itself. And it's a super cute casual look. I really love the color detail of this OP. Okay, so let's head off downtown. I headed off to the Glenbow Museum. However, since the main museum itself is actually undergoing construction, they're doing pop-ups at the Edison. And for the next little while, they are featuring Howie Sui's Retainers of Anarchy that's been organized and circulated by the Vancouver Art Gallery. So the artwork is featured on a large screen. So in this exhibit, Sui addresses the ideas of resistance using the narrative tool of wuxia. So in this piece, they use the genre as a tool to critique and reflect social and political realities within present day Hong Kong. It really offers an opportunity to reflect on the notions of identity and nationhood by drawing on Hong Kong's political unrest, protests, and conflicts. If you have time, definitely be sure to check out this exhibit and very interesting. Fun fact about the Edison is that they actually have a cafe on the 21st floor offering very nice views of the Calgary skyline and this coffee shop is called Mob Squad Coffee.
it was really fun watching people in the streets just go about their daily lives and i forgot to take a video of my drink but i got the rose latte and it was really good so definitely check out this place if you're ever in or around the edison area After that, I hopped over to Chinatown and I really wanted to check out Ambient Cafe. They are a Korean inspired cafe. I'm a little sad that I went during the daytime because during the night, I'm sure this place would look so much better than it does in the daytime. But it was a really cute cafe. They have a lot of Korean concept drinks. I got the strawberry matcha latte to drink. And then for food, I was really excited for this. I got the K Street food style egg sando, and this is essentially a milk toast sandwich with eggs and bacon and ham and all the dressings and toppings. I highly recommend getting it with the spicy mayo because the bread itself is very thick and creamy. This was a really good sandwich and I definitely will be back in the future to give it another go. So, so good, but so messy. And with that, we are at the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this food forward vlog. Not gonna lie, I suffered a lot of indigestion while trying to make this video. So I don't know if I'm gonna make this sort of video again anytime soon. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.